Hey guys, Dave Powell here, Tone Devil Guitars. I am just in love with this new harp ukulele. It's got a fantastic sound. It really has that essence of Hawaii. It kind of puts me right there on the beach uh, every time I pick this thing up and play it. Um, but I just am in love with how this thing turned out. This is our second prototype um, harp ukulele, tenor harp ukulele, I should say. It's actually got the tenor neck on here. I'll go over that in just a second. Our first prototype. Uh, had a little narrower body and it had the friction pegs and so we decided to swap that and change to the night the new uh, goto stealth tuners for the subs so they're a geared tuner and it just makes it a lot easier to keep that thing in tune and to tune it up to pitch but uh, our first prototype ended up with andre ferriante i definitely recommend you check out his channel uh, on youtube and you can find him on facebook and he performs profusely in the seattle area so definitely uh, give a shout out to him. Go check out one of his shows. He plays charango and saws and classical guitar and lots of different stuff in his show, including one of our harp guitars. But anyways, check out Andre Ferriante. And uh, I just want to tell you a little bit more about this. We use the um, Western Red Cedar for the top of this instrument, which is a great combination with nylon string, uh, which ukuleles typically are all nylon string. And uh, it has that nice tight grain. We've had just incredible results every time we use that western red cedar which we got locally here uh, from a friend of ours who has some property over in Rathdrum, Idaho. Uh, Rathdrum's kind of up by Coeur d'Alene up here in North Idaho and he had this nice great big cedar tree and allowed us to take some of it for guitar tops and ukulele tops now as well. Um, I think this actually has a one-piece top so it's there's no book match. There's a lot of times a seam in the middle of the guitar that matches two pieces of wood together. This instrument is small enough, around 11 inches across here, that we were able to use one solid piece of cedar to get the whole harp arm and the treble side and everything, which worked out great. Um, we don't have access to a lot of koa around these parts. You know, Idaho is a little bit of a ways away from Hawaii, uh, where koa is native, and so we made the trade off by using uh, African mahogany for the back and sides on this one which I think is a great match with the, with the red cedar. It gives it that real fuzzy, warm sound. And uh, yeah, I just can't stop playing it. It's just fantastic. I like that the, the neck is essentially the same tuning as a guitar uh, if you were to capo it at the fifth fret and then remove the bottom two strings. So you can play you know, your D chord and your C chord and your G chord, kind of minus those two strings, but they're, they're all there. So if you have guitar chords that you know, you can kind of um, make them work in this octave on this neck, which I think is very cool. Um, so it's tenor ukulele, so it's G, C, E, A. G, C, E, A on the neck, and we, a lot of times have that uh, re-entrant tuning on ukulele, and that's what we did here. We did the the lowest string on the neck is one of the most the highest pitched strings, so it's the octave G instead of being instead of being that low G, we have it has the octave higher, um, and so instead of doing the low G there, we put the low G as the lowest harp string. So now you have both the high G and the low G. I think kind of allows you to get away with the same sound on the same instrument, both tunings on the same instrument. Um, but the harp strings then are G, A, B, C. So you have that kind of diatonic scale, <laughs> like the white keys on a piano, so to speak, uh, from G to C. But I just think it's a great way to do the tuning. You can kind of get those same low notes that you would on that uh, lower tuning tenor ukulele, but having the harp strings there just gives it uh, that added along with the reentrant sound, which, which I think is a real typical ukulele sound we're used to hearing. And uh, yeah, I'm not sure much more I can say about it. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Let me know, leave a comment below. Let me know what, uh, what uh, it compares to if you've heard something like this. Uh, the harp ukulele was popular 100 years ago along with the harp guitar. You can see some of these old ones back here, the Knutson I have, and then the old Gibson. So these were around 100 years ago. But Knutson also did a version of a harp ukulele as well. And I think that's kind of where we're basing our design from. Um, 
But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think.